Good day everyone. In this lecture, I will introduce you to the simulation environment. Right? So in our previous lectures, we have been learning about the simulation business manager. In this lecture, I will take you to the simulation environment. Now, the simulation environment is the um, portion of the software, the Aspenis software, where the simulation of the process or the simulation of the model is being done right so after you have specified all the bases on which the process would run you have to go to the simulation environment to simulate the process itself now as you already know i told you in previous videos you have to specify your components and then your fluid package at least at least your components and fluid package so in this case i specified a few hydrocarbon components then the fluid package is ben robinson right so we can't go into the simulation environment depending on the kind of simulation you are trying to model if it's a reaction process a process that involves reaction you still have to specify your reactions if it's a process that <coughs> that involves um, crude oil you have to either use the oil manager or the petroleum assays then if your process involves hypo components you have to specify them before you get to the simulation environment right but in this case it's just to introduce you to the simulation environment so specifying the components and the fluid package is enough for this particular tutorial so once you are done adding your components and then your fluid package you can click on the simulation bar here right it's below properties just right below properties you will find the simulation bar you click on it and then you get into the simulation environment now this is your simulation environment right so you have this um you have this white space of which you can change the color to any color you like you have this white space this white space is your uh flow sheet right your flow sheet this is your flow sheet this is where you model the process then beneath the flow sheet are two boxes right they are called the status and the trace windows now what they do is ICS as you are simulating your process ICS will be giving you information about your process right through various means and one of the ways it sends you messages or info about your process is through the status and the trace windows Right, so once you start simulating your process in the simulation environment you will begin to see messages certain kinds of messages here either to specify one or two things or you may even see error messages that is if your process is not sim is not solving right if you're if you're having convergence errors or your simulation has not solved or there's something you have not specified you'll be seeing such messages in this status and trace windows right then below it you have the um the zoom you have the zoom feature you can use it to increase or decrease the flow sheet right you will learn about that in subsequent um tutorial then at the top some of the things you have at the top are some that we may have seen in the startup environment and in the um, simulation basis manager things like the um, the minimize maximize and exit at your top right then at your top left you have the you have the um, ISIS icon then you have the quick access toolbar which of course is customizable right then you have your file which we saw in the um simulation basis manager right you can click on it 
to get back to the startup environment and then you can click on it to go back to your simulation environment so either clicking or clicking can take you back and forth right then below it you have the clipboard where you have cut copy and paste then beside it you have the you have the ribbons right you have the ribbons you have home you have economics dynamics plant data question oriented view customize and resources right for the flow sheet modifier and format they only work when your they only come up when your um when your flow sheet is active right they only come up when, when when your flow sheet is inactive you will not find the flow sheet modifier or the customize ribbons so to make your flow sheet active in case you exit it by mistake you just go to view in the view ribbon you will see flow sheet you click on it and then it becomes active again and then the flow sheet modifier and format comes back right so in um for for example you have economics now this economics is used when you are doing the cost analysis of your model or your simulation then you have dynamics the dynamics is used when you want to um convert a process from steady states to dynamic states right then you have plan data then you have equation oriented you have view and you have customize and resources right the um customize and resources are the ones we saw in the um, startup environment and in the simulation business manager There's really nothing different about it and then for the rest for the remaining tabs we will be learning about them in subsequent tutorials now in this particular tutorial i will just um i'll focus more on the home tab right i'll just focus on the home tab now if you notice when we when we came into this environment uh this particular form here the model palette came up with the simulation environment right so whenever you enter your simulation environment for the first time the model palette comes up automatically right it comes up automatically but if paradventure you exit it and you want it back you can get it from the flow sheet modify right if you click on it you will find the model palette there now this model palette is one of the key features in the simulation environment because it contains the um, equipment that will be used to model the process the equipment and then the streams uh, so you can derive either the equipment or the streams from this particular model palette of which it has two forms you can make use of it you can either make use of it in the i think this is the grid form then or in the text form so now it's already in the grid form if you click on this right you get the text form now the text form will help you um get little hint about each of the equipment that are in the palette right so you have all the equipment listed then you have a brief description of each of them so before you choose any of them you know what you are choosing right it just gives you information about it uh, you can maximize this and get a clearer view right so this is the model palette right the model palette in version 11 of the software right so you get information about each of those um equipment present in the palette so you know what you are using right it gives you hints so but most people use it like this right like this also from the palette you have each um the component the equipment are grouped right you have groupings for the equipment in the palette so depending on what you want to um, use for your process you have groups you have separator for example at the bottom you have separator if you click on it most of the equipment you find in this section are separators whether they are 
normal separators or their distillation columns or different kind of separators separators that separate solids from gas etc so this is generally where you find separators so depending on what you are looking for you could use the groupings to search right this one is dynamics and controls this is where you find your controllers then you have external model you have heat transfer here you find your heat exchangers then your heaters and your coolers and you have manipulators right you have manipulators you have piping and hydraulics you have pressure changers this is where you find your pumps your compressors right then you have reactors this is where you find most of the reactors you would be using for your modeling right also in the model palettes you have the material and energy stream right so either one of them can be taken out so the material stream is the one in light blue and the energy stream is the one in light purple color right let me delete this okay delete so if you want to um get out any equipment or stream from the model palette you could either click on them for example if you want to get out the mixer to your to your um, flow sheet environment you could either click left click hold and drag or you could double click right or you could double click or you could click once and then place it on the uh, flow sheet right so either you let me take it again either you click sorry about that either you click you hold and you drag it out or you double click or you click once and then you click you drag your cursor to the flow sheet environment and then you left click right so either way works for um taking out equipment from the model palette and it's also the same technique you use for the streams as well so whether you want a material stream or an energy stream you can use any of those processes and it will work right any of those techniques will work you click once and then when you are on the um, flow sheet environment you click on and then it appears right so that's it that's how to bring um, your equipment and your streams from the model palette you will learn more about this in detail when we start the simulation series right so this is just this is still an introduction this is still an introduction now away from the model palette you have here you have the navigation pane the navigation pane a couple of the stops in the navigation pane are also in the home ribbon right so you here you have workbook you have workbook right you have a stream analysis you have stream analysis you have equipment design equipment design model analysis model analysis so a couple of the things here are also in the home ribbon section then below the below the navigation pane which is this you have the different environments the four environments you have the properties environment which is the simulation basis manager you have the safety analysis and then energy analysis depending on which analysis you want to do right so if you want to go back to the simulation uh, the simulation basis manager you just click on it in case you still want to specify something maybe you you missed out in specifying something you can just go back then if you want to go back to the simulation environment you click on this and you are back to your simulation then in the home 
in the home reborn after clipboard you have the units right so in the units it gives you opportunity to choose some of the units that are already existing and some of the ones you created via the preference the preference that was taught in the um the startup environment tutorial then you have simulation you have simulation you have the utility manager adjust manager and fluid packages then you have the solver right the solver is very important when you are simulating processes right for your process to solve your simulate your solver should be on active right your solver should be on active if, if it's on hold even if your input is complete your process will not solve so when you are simulating processes you should check your solver once in a while then you have summaries right under summaries you have workbook reports model flow sheets and inputs right the workbook is used to um where you are trying to represent data data from your simulation can be found in the workbook right and then it's you can export it to other softwares like microsoft excel for further analysis right, or for documentation then you have model flow sheet let me see here yeah, this flow sheet flow sheet gives you um the overall material and energy balance of your process right so this is empty because we did not simulate any process in this tutorial but when you simulate a process you will be seeing different different figures here right so it gives you the overall material and energy balance of your process the data then you have the analysis section right so depending on what you want there are certain kinds of analysis you can do with the software where you try to um see the effect of one parameter on, a, on another the change of one parameter on another right so this is where you can do different kinds of analysis you can do you can do sensitivity analysis here right you, you can do a lot of analysis that will help you optimize your process and play around with your uh, operating conditions right so we'll be learning more about them in subsequent videos too right so you have the case study you have data feeds optimizer variable manager compressor surge then you have stream analysis you can do analysis on individual streams right different different kinds of analysis can be done on individual individual streams yes then you have equipment design model analysis and then safety right so you have safety where you have pressure relief blow down and depressurizing and then flare system right so a lot of these things cannot be um they cannot be highlighted in one particular tutorial right so as the series goes on you'll be able to learn more and get more familiar with most of these features right so this is just an introduction to the simulation environment in subsequent tutorials you will get familiar with this particular environment right now this is the end of this particular video i would like to hear from you via the comment section like this video share it with your friends then subscribe for future notifications if you have not done so yet thank you and have a good day